In this video, I'm going to use an advanced filter to filter data to an output range. And as you can see on this worksheet, I've already um, defined my output range here by copying the column headings. And then I have also named this particular range here output so that that's another reserved name and so when I enter that into my advanced filter it's automatically going to know um, that's where I want the filtered data to go. So I'm uh, ready to do my advanced filter with an output range. I've got my workbook set up for it. So I'm going to go to the criteria worksheet and define my criteria. And I'm going to retain the road criteria in the address field. And I'm going to add a state criteria of CT for Connecticut. And since both of these criteria are on the same row, this is an AND criteria. And if you'll recall from the custom sort and filter, if you have an AND criteria, both criteria have to be met in order for a record to be pulled from the original um, data. So I'm going to go back to my web collection worksheet, web data collection worksheet and select the sales data range. And then on the data tab, I'm going back to the advanced filter. And this time I'm going to choose copy to another location. And in the copy to box, I'm going to type output. And as you'll recall, I have a named range called Output. Once I'm done with that, I'll click OK. And there is my one record that meets both criteria of um, having the word road in the address and being in the state of Connecticut. So that was an AND criteria. I'm going to set up another advanced filter using an OR criteria. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to AV for Avenue. So I'm looking for all the addresses that have the text string AVE in them. And I'm going to put Connecticut on a different line, thus creating an OR criteria. So this will pull out records that either meet this criteria or this criteria. Now there's one more thing I need to do before I use the advanced filter. I need to go to the Formulas tab to the Name Manager and I need to edit the criteria um, named range to include row 4 because I've added that OR criteria. So once I've done that, I can go back to the Web Data Collection Worksheet. I've already got the sales data selected. So I can go straight to the Data tab to the Advanced Filter. And again, I'm going to choose Copy to another location. And my output range is already defined here. So I can go ahead and click OK. And there I have um, all of the records that meet either the criteria of being in Connecticut or have AV, A-V-E, in the address portion. 
and that is using an advanced filter to filter to an output range.